you know, Trump, I've never played Dark Souls. I've heard it's quite the challenge. Maybe it's time for me to give it a shot. Really sleepy, Joe? Never played Dark Souls? I've conquered it multiple times. Nobody conquers games like me. But hey, I'll watch you play and offer some tremendous advice. We should call up Obama, too. He's been through the Dark Souls grind. That sounds like a plan, Trump. Maybe you can learn a thing or two about strategy from us. You know, something other than building walls in Minecraft. Oh, very funny, Joe. At least I don't get lost in Pac-Man mazes. I don't think you're ready for this. Prepare to die. Trump, just like in politics, I'll outmaneuver you at every turn. And with Obama by our side, there's no stopping us. Get ready for the Biden-Obama-Trump dream team. Dream team? More like a nightmare for you, Joe. But hey, I'm up for the challenge. Let's see if you can survive Dark Souls. Let me call up Obama while you boot up the game. Sup, guys? Sorry I'm late. Michelle wouldn't let me hop on until we were done with Pilates. But anyway, what are we playing today? Barry, quit letting your husband boss you around. But it turns out Joe over here has never played Dark Souls. So I figured you and I could watch this catastrophe unfold. Donald, shut the hell up. This should be good. Because, Joe, you're just like the characters in the game. Cursed to slowly hollow out, lose your memory, and become a walking corpse, LOL. I didn't even think of that, Barry, but you're right. Joe's old ass was probably born before the first flame. Will you two shut up so I can start the damn game already? Ah, the character creation screen reminds me of the good old days back when I lived in a castle with knights and dragons. Well, maybe not dragons, but we did have a pet lizard once. Oh my God, Joe, you're so old. I can't tell if that story is true or it's your dementia flaring up. Maybe you're confusing my experiences with your alternative facts. But hey, at least I have stories to tell, not just tweets to delete. Both of you sound like idiots. What class are you going to play, Joe? I personally enjoy either the pyromancer or the cleric for faith. Nah, those classes are ass, bro. Got to do a dex or mage build for maximum damage. Hmm, deprived, that seems interesting. Wonder what this is all about. Oh, uh, what the fuck? LaMail, Joe, enjoy that nice view there. I think I'm just going to go with the warrior class. This armor reminds me of the suits I used to wear back in the Senate. I say go with the witch ring here. Most of this stuff is useless, and the master key is better for second playthroughs. But the ring will get us some more dialogue later in the game. As long as you don't take the pendant, damn Miyazaki trolled the whole community for a year with that thing. Oh shit, look, they even have your build, Donald. The only times you can use very large with me is either my bank account or my turnouts when I host rallies. I bet Melania wishes something else was very large. At least I'm married to an actual woman, Obama. Fuck you, Donald. Let's see what about my face. Oh, wow. I didn't know you were in the game, Barry. Oh my God, Joe, take your dementia pills. Your racism is starting to show. I wouldn't worry about the face details, Joe. You'll barely see your character because of the armor and whatnot. And besides, your character is about to look more like you after you finish making him. Um, not really sure what you mean by that, Donnie, but all right then. All right, I think I'm finally done here. Just got to put a name here. Uh, J-O-E-Y, the hero of Dark Souls. Let's do this. Prepare to die. Oh, gosh, I can't wait. In the age of ancients. Also known as Joe's birthday, Donald, shut up, but I will admit this reminds me of my younger years, you know. The days before color television. We used to call it Shades of Grey back then. And you know, the world was actually really like that color wasn't made real until about... Both of you be quiet. This is literally the plot of the game, and you're talking over it. Then from the dark... People magically showing up, just like the 200,000 ballots that magically showed up in Wisconsin. Skill issue, bitch. Is that a dead guy made up of the corpses of a thousand dead guys? That's real neato, ain't it? That was terrible, Barry. 
the witch of Isaac. Oh boy, I sure wonder what their hair smells like. For God's sake, Joe. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. Easily forgotten. So easily forgotten? That's not saying much when we are talking about Joe's memory. What are you talking about? I have not forgotten um, what, um, who was it again? I swear you were not like this when you were my VP. I bet that reminds you of all those drone strikes, doesn't it, Obama? Keep it up and you'll get a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Just like Trump's COVID response. And Seath escapes. Yeah, you're just like Seath over here, because you both don't have the ability to walk properly. Only difference is he has an excuse. Fuck you, Donald. What a beautiful city. Reminds me of Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, and I bet you'd still would suck at golf here, too. Shut up, Barry. This is going to be just like you, Donnie, after they lock your ass up. Fake news. I'll be in the White House again. And don't act like you won't just pardon my ass if that ever happened. Eh, whatever, man. But is that supposed to be me? That guy looks nothing like the Joey I just made. I told you so. That looks so much closer to you now. They got every wrinkle. If anything, I bet that's what you look like after you wipe off all that orange tan and grease from McDonald's. Guys, can we please focus? Joe, cut scenes over now. It's time to play the game. Finally. All right, first things first. Let's get out of this cell. Now that night, drop this body in here, and it looks to have something. Let's see here. Oh, fantastic, the key to the cell. Where was this body keeping it, I wonder? Also makes you wonder why he didn't just throw you the key? I'll try not to think about it too much, but let's get out and start our adventure. Let's go. All right, there seems to be something written on the ground over here. Ah, a zombie! Take this! Guys, I did it. I thought this game was supposed to be hard. Jesus Christ, Joe. That was literally the first enemy in the game. Yeah, and these guys are so hollowed out. They aren't even hostile. Their minds are so gone. So they don't even need to be attacked. Sounds just like Sleepy Joe. Shut up, fat ass. Now, what's this over here? Let's see light bonfire. All right, Joe, in Dark Souls, you'll come across these bonfires. Think of them like the good old White House, a place of refuge and a chance to catch your breath. When you find one, you can rest and recover. It's like a strategic timeout. But here's the kicker. It also responds all the enemies. Uh, what's up with this big open area here? Ah, holy shit, it's Donald. Fuck you, Sleepy Joe. It's the first boss of the game, the Asylum Demon. Oh, gosh. Okay, time for it to die. What the fuck? And there it is, the first death of the game. I'm sure there are many, many more to follow. That was just a test. Watch me absolutely crush it here in a second. Okay, round two, you fat piece of shit. Oh, what the hell? I only do like two damage? Yeah, he's got like almost 900 health too. Holy hell, this is taking forever here. God fucking damn it. Jesus Christ, Joe. Uh, before we spend the next 10 hours watching you fail at this, I'm going to give you some advice. Remember those writings on the ground? Well, you should really read the one in there. OK, let's see here. Um, get away? What does that mean? It means run away, Joe. Basically, this is where the game teaches you that sometimes you might encounter an enemy that's just too strong. And sometimes the best strategy is to get away instead of needlessly whacking at it like earlier. Oh, kind of like you running away from hopping on the debate stage? No, I mean like how small children run away from you. Fuck you, Donald. Ow, what the hell was that? Ow! Oh, it's that guy over there. Yes, Joe, that's why you need to equip that shield you just picked up. Oh, look, a sword. That should work a lot better than this piece of junk hilt.
Ha ha, I got you now. Congratulations, Joe. You learned how to block. I hope your lawyers have a defense as strong as this shield. Shut the fuck up and go into the fog over there. You know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Wait for it. Wait for what? What the fuck? Ha 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 ha. Oh my God, that never gets old. I hate you guys. Oh, hey, it's that knight who gave us that key that was in the dead guy's ass. Oh, you. Yeah, he got his ass kicked by the asylum demon and is now dying. Oh, no, can we help him somehow? Unfortunately not, but listen, he's got something very important to tell us and something to give us. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Oh, of course, Sir Knight. What is your dying request? Yes, give me the torch, and I shall carry it to brighten up the darkness that is in this world in your honor. Um, maybe tone down the role play a bit there, Joseph? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to enjoy the setting of the world here. What does that mean? He's basically giving you your quest. You have to go to Lordran and find the Bell of Awakening. Ring it, and your destiny will be revealed. An Estes flask, an undead favorite. And he gave you your Estes flask. These are limited amount of heals that will refill every time you rest at a bonfire. It looks like the key to get out, too. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. And I will not forget you. Um, um, Mr. What was your name again? Is this reverse dementia? He never told you his name, but in the game files, he's listed as Oscar of Astora. And now Oscar's dead. Rest in peace. Um, um, oh, man, who was that? I think I'm going to have a brain aneurysm. Ah, holy shit, that's a lot of monsters. Just remember what you've learned so far, Joe. Ha, backstab, bitch. I call that the Mike Pence special. At least you're not like Bush with Dick Cheney. Friendly fire's always on. You know, Dick Cheney and I had our differences, but I'll give him credit for one thing. He's got a great aim. Okay, another fog wall here. What's on the other side? Um, there doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, wait, it's Donald from earlier. I'm about to enjoy this. Oh, what the shit? Okay, Joe, this time try jumping off, then hitting the attack button as you're falling. Okay, let's give that a shot here. Boom, critical strike, bitch. More like a drone strike, because it's death from above, right, Barry? Fuck you, Donald. Almost dead. Let's fucking go. Death by ass pounding, or what Obama calls Thursday night with Michelle. Donald, I'm gonna find a crackhead to take a shit on your car. Oh, wow, what an absolutely gorgeous view. It's times like this where you have to stop and appreciate the beauty in this game. On that, we can agree on, Obama. Only oh, man, it seems to be a dead end. It is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Oh, no! It's the angel of death here to take me away! Holy hell, calm down there, Sleepy Joe. It's just a servant of the goddess Velka here to take you to Lordran to fulfill the prophecy. Oh, thank goodness. I'm too young to go. I am at a loss for words right now. Well, luckily, you don't need to talk right now. Congratulations, Joe. You completed the starting area and have unlocked the main game, 
where your real journey begins. Oh, gee golly, gosh. I'm so excited I can't wait to see what wonders and trials face me here. Prepare for hardship, pain, and hopefully victory, Joe. The real Dark Souls is about to begin. AI President Barack Obama here. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you enjoyed watching the presidents navigate the treacherous world of Dark Souls, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more entertaining content, and ring the bell to stay updated. Share this video with anyone you know who needs a good laugh or is curious about seeing former presidents trying their hand at Dark Souls. I hope this to be a first of a series of videos if the feedback shows people enjoy it. Your support means the world to me. And until next time, stay entertained and take care.